my question to the panel is, is it really that hard hiding who you are? Sin, let's start with you. Being my authentic self, my really too tall, kind of masculine, but still all woman self, um, and letting myself be that has really allowed me to be happy and healthy and, and things like that. Now I really can't hide who I am. I'm me. Everybody knows who yeah, I am. That haircut is not me. hiding anything, Sin. I think everyone <laughs> no, knows no. you. Um, I think everyone knows no. you like women. Yeah, yeah, I like the ladies. <laughs> and there's no reason to there's no reason to hide that. You know, I, I hear I, your take on it. I'm often told when I'm out speaking out publicly, wow, you're so brave, you're so courageous, and I, I suppose there's some truth to that, but honestly, the courage comes in the, came in the first 42 years of life when, when I was hiding it. That's when you're brave, that's when you're courage. This is the easy part. Living now truly is the easy part, and I think um, I, I didn't know how hard it was until I, I came out because really now life is just so much easier that I can just live and I, I really don't care and I think that's I don't just have don't have to work so hard at being me the me yeah. that I want to be and not the me that everybody else expects me to be Steph do you have a type? I got everybody <laughs> <laughs> I like anybody that is cool that makes me laugh that lets me be me I'm not describing my wife. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so being a bisexual, you kind of, you know, I'm, I'm Kinsey scale right down the middle. So I like very masculine type guys. I like very feminine type women. And there's just no one in between I've ever been attracted to, believe it or not. I did try to date a butchy woman once, and she was crazy. So I just associate <laughs> all butchy women as being nuts. <laughs> I.W. Gregorio states, that was when I realized that life was a multiple choice test with only two answers, male and female, and I was none of the above. Is the male-female titles old school at this point, with gender fluidity and, you know, the transgender community and such, do your genitalia still define you at all? <laughs> well, I, I think masculinity and femininity um, apply because mm -hmm. everybody has various degrees of those characteristics one way or the other so I think that feeds into it but but yeah I'm I'm the person that will tell you straight out that genitals don't matter outside exactly. of the bedroom right I'm, I'm, yes. clearly it makes a difference perhaps to to an intimate relationship of course yeah. that's stuff, but, but that's really it is only between my wife and I and my doctor and I yeah. Mm -hmm. That's one thing one question I hate and I get it all the time I'm sure everybody else so, okay, so with you both, who's the man in the relationship? Oh, I hate Stop that. Stop asking that question. We're both women. So, yeah. thanks for yeah. playing. Yeah. Uh, this bill was introduced as part of the Public Facilities Privacy and Security Act. And my question tonight for the panel is two part. First of all, I'd really like someone to explain to me whose privacy is being invaded and whose security is in question uh, to have this bill passed. And secondly, I'd like to find out, especially from Marnie, as a transgender woman, what are the effects that you are feeling due to this bill? Yeah, and I think the first thing is whose privacy is being violated? Mine. Who's exactly. Security, whose security is being violated? Mine, because I'm at yeah. more risk in these bathrooms than everybody else. And I think that's something that we, we need to really remember. And I, I don't know if we've set back transgender rights 10 years. I yeah. think we've sent it back about to the 40s and 50s when we had colored washrooms. Yeah. Yeah. This whole have to save the children, have to do it, somebody think of the children, holds no wash with me. Because if you no. look at it, if you're truly concerned with your children, what gender is most responsible for harming your little boys? And you've been sending your son into the bathroom with them his whole life without these kind of arguments. This That's whole right. someone think of the children thing is just bullshit. And you, people who are using that have got mm -hmm. to stop and start owning the hatred and the, 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 uh, the propaganda that they're putting out there because you are killing our transgendered brothers and sisters. And it's not right. Preach it. Preach, Preach. it. Yeah.